everyone, my name is Anonymous something. I just did an intro, but there's one problem. I have to change the fucking batteries. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on, I'm gonna change the fuck this fucking battery to this fucking camera. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I changed the battery. Yeah, we can finally do this video now. So welcome back to a brand new episode of Ask Anonymous Something. Before we start this Q&A, I just want to tell you guys, if you guys want to ask more questions, comment down below for the next episode. Like this is gonna be probably a weekly thing. I'm gonna do this every week. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's do this every week, all right? Let's keep that watch hour, 4,000 fucking watch hour time going, all right? Let's get this channel fucking monetized again. Fucking hell. I hate YouTube so much. Will COVID be the reason for the eventual extinction of humans? I hope. Like, I really hope a fucking meteorite or a fucking giant asteroid hits the fucking, the, this planet, and then it all goes boom. Like, psh, non-existent. Everyone's dead. The planet is dead. <laughs> the planet is dead. Everything is fucking destroyed. So COVID may not be the reason for the extinction of humans. It's probably gonna be the asteroid, I think. Or maybe something else. Maybe World War Three. Have you guys heard about Russia and Ukraine? No, comrade. I'm the gonna... Shiza, what do Russians say? I'm gonna hit you with my vodka. Like imagine World War III happens and Russia just brings out millions of bears running through the battlefield to eat the enemy. Like imagine if that happens. Now that I wanna see. Why do I live in a constant state of fear and misery? I live in a constant state of fear and misery. Do you miss me anymore? <laughs> and I don't even notice what it hurts anymore, 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 anymore. God damn it, I miss Filthy Frank. But to answer your question, I don't know. Maybe life just sucks ass. Thoughts on YouTube removing dislike button. I don't give a shit about YouTube removing the dislike button. You won't fucking see the dislikes anymore. Ha, huh? go suck my fucking <laughs> yeah. What you gonna do now, motherfucker? If you're a hater of mine, go ahead and comment whatever the fuck you want. I don't fucking care. You won't get to see the fucking dislikes. Oh, uh, you wanna make a shit ton of fake accounts and fucking dislike bomb my videos? You won't fucking do that anymore, huh? You won't fucking do shit. You can't do shit anymore, huh? What you gonna do now, bitch? I'm sorry, I got carried away there. But there is pros and there is cons on removing dislikes. The pros, I can do whatever the fuck I want now. The cons, so you're looking for a tutorial and you don't know the like to dislike ratio. Who knows if you might follow a scam tutorial. Like that's the scary part. Like that's the only cons I can think of. What's the worst change YouTube has made? It's the 4,000 fucking bullshit hours. Like, okay, you need 1,000 subscribers to get monetized. That's good. I can live with that. All right, that's okay. But the, the 4,000 hours watch time, now that's a little, I, I hate that. I really fucking hate that. Most of the people that are watching YouTube has fucking, oh, cool, colorful video. They click on the video and after three seconds, they click away. ADHD's a bitch. So yeah, I really hate this uh, YouTube partnership program. Like the 10,000 views partnership program, that's already good. It ain't broke, why fucking change it? Like, this is already good. Son of a bitch, man. Ever since Susan Wojcicki, or however you pronounce her fucking name, ever since she stepped into the CEO, whatever, president of YouTube, but she ruined everything. She 
destroyed everything. Like everything we worked so hard to build in this channel is dead. And it got destroyed by her. Did you watch WWA? WWA? Is that a wrestling company? Or are you talking about WWE? In the 2000s, did you buy their DVDs? First of all, I don't know WWA. I, I don't know that. But WWF or WWE in 2000s? Yes. I, I watched it. Remember what happened here? Like the original HQ of the Hood Gang Network got blown up, got destroyed. Oh my god, now that's... Holy shit, man, like... All of our collections, our DVD collections got destroyed there. And we don't have it anymore. Would you ever join EWE Network? Maybe if this channel dies. I don't know, I might join any network. Or whoever network I, I can join. As of now, uh, I don't think I'll join any network. I'm comfortable with Good Gang Network. But if this channel dies, then I'll probably join any network or whatever the fuck. What would you do if Lorenzo comes back and talks shit about you again? And another question. What do you think of Vince McMahon? Kiss my ass club. You don't have to censor the fucking word. But yeah, to answer your question. What would I do if Lorenzo comes back? Lorenzo ain't even a fucking threat. He's fucking weak as hell. You know, back in the day, if I wanted, I would just do this and Lorenzo would die. Like his power level is super low. Glenn Lidro, yeah, this piece of shit right here. He's more of a threat than Lorenzo. He has powers. If he used his powers correctly, He'll be a huge threat. Vince McMahon's Kiss My Ass Club. I think it's a funny stable, like from the name itself, Kiss My Ass Club, and they're forcing people to kiss my ass. It's a piece of wrestling history. When will George come back? We're trying to find him. Is it possible for sex machines to replace women? Yes. <laughs> Probably not now. But 10 years from now, like sex robots and sex machines, like, you can't tell the future, man, you can't tell the future. Like, technology would be super fucking advanced to the point where they can make sex machines into fucking real human beings. And <laughs> you can code some shit, like you can do some coding shit where you can code the machine to look like a certain person and then there you go you don't need women anymore there you go <laughs> AI AI artificial intelligence sex machines there you go probably 10 years from now they can replace women but if there were sex machines right now or whatever the fuck then the big and incel community will go, oh, yeah. But yeah, it is a possibility. Not now, not next year, maybe 10 years from now, or who knows? You, you, you can't tell with technology, man. Like technology is vastly improving each year. What's the hardest drug you've ever had? I can't tell, man. Like I've taken a lot of fucking drugs in my day. And I don't know which drug was the strongest. Here's my actual question, Anonymous. What is one person on this site that you would punch? Probably Vasilius. Like, Vasilius, he talks shit and he wants to take down the Hood Gang Network. Well, let me tell you this, motherfuckers. Anonymous something. I'm too powerful for Vasilius and I can... You know, Vasilius might die in one punch. Do you think AEW is an inside job? AEW, is, is this the new rival for WWE? I don't know man, I'm not sure. One thing I do know, AEW is still, it's a fucking smarks delight. Like, have you seen the wrestlers there? Like, yes, it's edgy, edgy content. Look at the wrestlers, like, flippy dippy shit and midgets. What is this shit? But at least it's edgy, alright? And no, I don't know if AEW is truly an inside job. What do you mean by inside job? An inside job to take down WWE? Or an inside job like AEW and then AEW is secretly 
WWE's project and sooner or later WWE will pull pull the plug from AEW and then they will buy an AEW or I don't know like the conspiracies man I don't know man I don't know a lot of shit but let me tell you this I am smarter than most people